Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be creating a game in 24 hours with my friend here. Hello! Now, I'm the scripter, he's the builder, and we're going to be creating an entire game from scratch. As you can see, we have nothing but a base plate. We've actually tried this challenge before, but we failed miserably, and it's been about, I don't know, three weeks now since we tried it, I and just it's time say, to try it again. Uh, we, we may have failed miserably, okay, but the map was spectacular screenshot popping yeah. up right now it, it was nice okay all right so this is gonna be a crazy challenge i'm literally it's, i'm literally gonna have 24 hours i'm gonna stay up pretty much the entire 24 hours uh all the way till sunrise and sunset and it's gonna be weird to see this happen so um anyways be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video guys also subscribe if you want to see more roblox challenges like this one i do a lot of development related stuff on this channel so subscribe for that but anyways, let's get started with the challenge. All right, so I got the timer right here on my screen. As you can see, this is 24 hours. Actually, wait, no, it's 23 hours, 59 seconds, and 59 minutes. But it's fine. Uh, you know, we only have one second left. Anyways, I'm starting the challenge. I'm starting the timer. Here we go in three, two, one, and start. Okay, so we now have 24 hours on the clock ticking. I don't know why I'm already nervous. <laughs> Uh, um, okay. I, I just want to say I'm not okay. fancy enough to have a timer, so... <laughs> okay, alright, well, it's fine. Okay, it's gonna be kind of crazy, I'm excited to see how this happens, but anyways, let's get started. Alright, so, first things first. So, the game idea we kind of thought of already, um, and basically what we want to do is sort of like a, a game where you have basically a bunch of plates. So, like... Alright, so basically, I know the plates are kind of bad right now, okay, so actually isn't what it's gonna look like, but as you can see, we have a bunch of plates right here, and basically a character will spawn on each plate, and the goal is to be the last person alive. So, I feel like it'll be kind of fun, right? We'll have a bunch of different random events that happen to you like for example your plate may turn into ice or your plate may turn on fire or you might get like a disease and you have to like pass it on to someone else or you might get like a weapon you know what i mean so basically you have to kill everyone else and be the last person alive and that's how you win so i think it'll be pretty fun to do i think it'll also be pretty simple to make i should be able to make it 24 hours but we'll see what happens i guess but anyways let's go get started with the challenge um intel's gonna go and start building the map Woo! also the theme for this is sort of like a jungle type theme oh, uh snap. I, feel like that, I feel like that'd be good um i'm so, gonna have to crack yeah. open the old blender <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, let's get started with the challenge. Um, I'm gonna go and start scripting ASAP. All right, guys, so it is time to start building. Uh, I'm pretty much gonna come like within different segments. So like first I'll get like the main, the spot built for like where all the players will be standing, like where the main gameplay will happen. And then we're gonna kind of build around that. Like we'll have it center map and just build around it. I know we're gonna need some sort of obstacle course, maybe some leaderboards, a shop, uh, some mini games some stuff like that. So we'll just see I will start with the middle though and tap said a jungle theme So let's go. All right guys So I just got the like the middle of the map done and he did say a jungle theme So these are gonna be like conveyors that go around and then these are all of the plates that people can stand on I believe there's 25 like a 5 by 5 so we have 25 players available in this game all of these uh actually they're a bit too high so i'm gonna go ahead and move those down and the colors are bound to change okay like i might change the colors because hey they're very very dark and this style is not my normal style so like if you happen to be here from taps video or, or the dev king i guess would be uh would be the name i got to use today if you happen to be here from that video my normal style is a very low poly smooth plastic cartoon vibe this is not exactly my style but i'm going for it all right uh but yeah this this is where we're at right now i think i'm gonna hop over into blender and uh and get some trees made all right guys welcome back to a new screen that you guys have not seen uh, on this channel yet but blender uh basically your boy has built two trees tap did not like the ones that i had like uh previously so i went ahead and built two more so we have these two little like swamp type trees with some vines there are some separate parts so i can color them in studio because your boy uh i don't know how to uh you know how to like paint in blender and stuff and like import export the texture all that kind of stuff so i just color them in studio but there's the trees i will build one more but my blender is being buggy now so i have to restart it i'm gonna export these get them in the game build another one maybe two more some other assets and i'll meet you guys in studio all right guys so we are back and i've done so so much work so i want to show you guys a little update i'm using a tactic that i saw in pet simulator 2 where they kind of fade out uh, the jungle. It makes it so you have to use a lot less parts, a lot less trees, but it looks like there's a lot more. So I basically made three parts and upped the transparency as you go forward. So this one's no transparency, and then this one's 0.4, and I believe this one is 0.5. So it just slightly goes up each time. Uh, and then I'm just grabbing the treetops 
And, uh, oh yeah, I made one more tree, uh, right here, guys. I made this tree as well. In case you were like, bro, where'd you get that tree? Yeah, I made this one, and then these two. So this whole game, there's actually only three tree models, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool to think about. All right, guys, so we are back, and here's where we're at within the game. Uh, I have added some grass all around. Uh, this is just like a bunch of, like, different pieces of grass. And I clumped them up together and then placed them around the map. And, uh, of course, our forest is done. We have our little fence here. Just, uh, like, like a visual representation of, hey, players, y'all can't pass this point, okay? Y you can't do it. Well, well, you can right now because I don't have an invisible barrier up yet. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, uh, here's the map so far. I definitely need to add something of color. There's a lot of green right now. A lot of green and brown. The first things that come to mind when I think of color would be, I don't know, mushrooms. Ah, he, okay, he, he started scripting, so I can't really, like, run around the map and stuff. All right, guys, so I made this very, very simple mushroom and imported it into the game. And as you can see, I just made, like, three little variants uh, by scaling and everything like that. And uh, I guess I could probably make the top of this one a little bit bigger. There we go. And let's, let me make sure it matches up. It doesn't. So let me go ahead and do this. Boom. Perfect. Also, guys, if you would like any uh, tutorials in Blender, like anything specific, I, I would love to hear what you guys would like. Like, hey, can you teach us how to make trees? Can you teach us how to make, you know, just tell me something. And uh, the most liked comment down below uh, will be the next tutorial. And I'll kind of do them in order. So, you know, if one gets 10 likes, then I'll do that one first. If one gets five likes i'll do that one next you know what i'm saying so just anything you'd like to learn how to do or just something you're curious about it could be studio or blender and i will give it my all trying to explain it the best i can for you guys and uh just try to help you out here's the shop guys uh i did the same effect kind of fading it out with a neon part in the background uh, i think it looks really cool and yeah this is where you will go to buy stuff i might take this mountain i think i'll take this mountain just this one and move it a lot closer so it looks Oh, this could be really cool, actually. I mean, I'll just try it. Like, it might be bad. It might be good. We're going to figure it out. Boom. Give this a little bit of rotation. So it looks like you're actually entering into a mountain um, to go to the shop. I think that's a really cool idea. So we'll leave that right there. And then, of course, we will be blocking this and this. So if you're a player and you're down here, you're just kind of looking up. Yeah, we're going to need to get this a little more, more centered. Well, it is pretty centered, I feel like. We'll just go like this and then move it back something like that'll work guys <laughs> i still have to figure out what kind of border thing i want to do for the sides here it can either be rock or like the normal simulator type borders everything like that and i gotta find a texture for the ground now this is four different pieces so i'm hoping the textures line up okay <laughs> well, i'll let you know we'll be right back all right guys to be completely honest i don't know exactly where i left off in the video i don't remember what i showed you guys last or anything like that but we are nearing completion of the map I just finished this little obstacle course right here. Uh, it's not really meant to be too hard or too easy. Uh, I haven't gotten to test it though because when I click play, it auto spawns me on these because he's working on the game right now. So uh, here's the map. I did fix up lighting and everything like that. Over here, we have the shop, which goes into a mountain. I just thought that was kind of a cool idea for a forest aesthetic. Uh, I mean, it might be, it might not. You know, <laughs> you can let me know in the comments below. Uh, added grass all around the map. Added some more trees outside of the fenced area. Simply like you're in a forest. Uh, you're not next to a forest. So I wanted to kind of bring out some of these trees and just make it look more alive out here. By the way, the link to this game will be down below in the description. So if you want to check it out, give it a play. You can see the builds within the game. Uh, or if you're here from the Dev King, you can also see like all the scripting work and everything like that. I added these dirt hills as well. And uh, I think that's all I really added uh, from the time I last checked in. I'd say the map's pretty much done. I am going to build probably one or two more plants, uh, kind of vegetation things uh, that I can kind of scatter around back here to help fill in the bottom of this and just make it more forest aesthetic. And uh, I think that will pretty much wrap up this build. Uh, I'll see you guys when the Dev King is just about done scripting and we can maybe play the game. All right, guys. So the Dev King and I have finally finished the game. We did go a v just a little bit over 24 hours, but uh, we stuck pretty, pretty close to the deadline. So we finished the game. Here it is. Uh, I'm not exactly satisfied with the obby. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's not my best work. But I just don't like making obbies, really. <laughs> I love the map, though. Check this out. We did change these to pink and purplish because, oh, no. It gives a little more, a little more pizzazz, okay? The black was, it was, it was nice, but it wasn't really doing it. So, uh, I don't know if I can necessarily test this. If I go to uh, start a two-player server like this 
and we'll just see but uh i'm hyped the game's out guys the link will be down below in the description uh, at the time this video goes live okay so it's gonna make a couple studios real quick that'll be all right uh a lot of studio why is there is there so many like chill out bro oh no dude all right justice jungle guys so as you can see it spawns everybody on a plate uh of course it's just me and me because uh, i'm testing <laughs> but there we go i'll go ahead and full screen this one it spawns us on a plate and right there their plate just became frozen uh it's probably pretty slippery over there let me see um all right, now get this screen. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's slick, as you can see. You slide a little bit. All right, so yeah, the game works. UI, nice. Works, passes, products, and titles. Let's go. All right, guys, but that is going to wrap up this video. If you do want to play the game, it will be linked down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoy your day. Later.